Hey guys! Alright, it is week 12. Yep, week 12. This is my last week in the first trimester, so at the end of this week I will be in my second trimester, which is awesome. So almost done with first trimester. Uh, I have a list. So, okay. So let's dive right in. Alright, did you guys hear me click my pen so I sounded official? Alright class, let's do this. Okay, <laughs> so first, I took that Intelligender test, and that was super fun. Let me just tell you guys, I do not trust that test at all. Like, some people really trust it, I don't. I don't trust that test at all. But, <laughs> it did say girl. Um, uh, we thought pretty obviously said girl, so we were surprised when we put up the results. Um, we thought it was, like, really obvious, but then a lot of people were like, it looks like boy. And so, Kyle and I were like watching the video and we were like, no, even on the video it looks like a girl. And like, we put up the pictures at the end and it could like not be more orange color. And we were like, what are people seeing? And Kyle said people see what they want to see. And so, and not like in a bad way, but like, you know, you, you, you think you see one thing and so like, you, that's what you see. Like, you know, it's part of its perception. So we actually sent the video and the pictures to Intelligender the actual company and we're like what are the results and they were like it was they said it was definitively girl they were like that's girl straight up they're like plain and simple girl and they said that based on the video and the photos so um, yeah the company itself said that those results were girl I think it was really obvious for me because um, I've seen so many of these tests done that I know what a boy result looks like <laughs> and a boy result is so much darker than what ours was um, a boy results really dark like just really murky, dark, brownish, greenish, right? And our results were this orangish color. But you know what, though? We took photos of it compared to the green. I just didn't post them in that one video because, like I said, I didn't think I needed to. I thought it was obvious. So, um, But I'm going to show you guys, though. So you can see, <laughs> when you compare it to the green, it is not green. Um, now, I will tell you guys this. When you read the instructions of the Intelligenter test, it tells you that when you pour your urine in, um, the, if it's a girl result, the the color after you swirl it, whatever color it is, which isn't even a bright orange, it's kind of like a almost an in-between color. They said if it doesn't change or if it turns more orangey yellow, then it's a girl result. Well, my didn't really change. So, um, like the color it was after we swirled it, it was kind of what it looked like, maybe a little bit more orange. It kind of looked the same. Um, but if you go and watch people like Laura and Layton, they did theirs, and theirs was like an obvious boy result. You could see what a boy result actually looks like. So, yes, but whether it's right or wrong, the test says girl. So if I am having a boy, the test was just wrong. It wasn't like we read it wrong. So, yeah. And the company is so sweet because, I, like I said, I just wrote them and was like, what do you see? And they were like, it's a girl, like straight up. They answered really quickly. They were really nice. And they'll read the results for you because... Um, we said it in the video, I was telling Kyle, like, if you looked at the test from up above, which they tell you do not do, they're like, in the little instructions, they're like, do not look at this test at any level but eye level, because it's such a, um, the, the shades can blend together so much that if you don't look at it straight on, it can look different. And if you were standing up looking down, I'm sorry, but I thought it looked kind of green, but when you went down to eye level, it was like, oh no, that's like definitely not a dark brown green. So. And they tell you in that test, they're like, don't do, you know, look at the eye level. So, but anyway, I thought the company was nice. I thought it was nice of them that they wrote back so quickly and were like, you know. So if you ever take that test, write the company. Even if you think you know the results, just send them the pictures. They have a whole form for it. and Or you can um, send them a link to a video and they'll tell you what they see. So that was cool. But like I said, don't trust it. So I did the Chinese gender test chart thing too and when I first did it I did it wrong and um, you're supposed to put I said that I would you're supposed to it's supposed to be your age and like the month you conceive but it's supposed to be the age you are whenever you are gonna have the baby and at first I had done it like the age I was now or just my birthday but the age I was at the time and so I was I thought it was boy but the results actually girl so yeah that's two for girl but like I said I don't feel it one way or the other so I don't know I just don't trust it uh, let's see what's next okay so um, um, I have had a weird aversion like food aversion it's the weirdest one to me ever I was like who like has an aversion to this but like cinnamon rolls like make me want to gag like 
that's the weirdest thing. We were in Galveston on vacation and um, <laughs> they made um, those, you know, like Pillsbury, like cinnamon rolls for breakfast and I was like Bleh. like I couldn't even stand it I was like what they're gross and then um yesterday Kyle was like looking for coupons because he's really cute and he likes to find coupons when we go to the grocery store which is awesome I'm not making fun of him it's just funny because that's usually like what the women do but anyway he was like hey I got a coupon for cinnamon rolls and I was like Bleh. like I was like no I was like I'll get them for you but I don't want to look at them who doesn't like cinnamon rolls? Like, that's the weirdest aversion ever. Um, one thing I've had, and it, this isn't this week. I've been having this the whole time. I just never remember to mention it. And that is, um, <laughs> I will smell food and, like, I'll think it's bad. Like, I'll th I feel like I smell it and I'm like, oh, no, it's gone bad. <laughs> and, um, and, and, I, and, I mean, it smells like it's gone bad so much to me that I don't even think it has anything to do with pregnancy. I literally think it has gone bad. I'm like, no, that's gone bad. And I've done that with a lot of things, and like Kyle will come over and smell it and like taste it, and he's like, Courtney, this is perfectly fine. I'm like, no, Kyle, that's gone rancid. It's gross. Like, <laughs> so that, I've been doing that the whole time. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, so in an earlier vlog, I was talking about how um, I was a C, like my breast size was a C, and that it was like, I was like too big. Um, <laughs> turns out I was wrong. Um, the, after I stopped nursing, um, I went and got, um, some new bras and I thought I bought C's. Like I thought they were, it was like a C, but it turns out they were D's. <laughs> so these bras that I was busting out of at the beginning of this pregnancy and I thought I was just busting out of a size like a C cup, turns out I've been busting out of a D cup. So... <laughs> They were even bigger than I thought. So I've been um, thinking in my head I was this, a smaller size than... I think I'm the only person in the world who nursed their baby for almost eight months and boobs did not get smaller. Like, my boobs, like, stay huge. So nursing did not damage my boobs at all. Um, <laughs> they're not as perky as they once were, but they are just as big. And now that I'm pregnant again, it's like, I don't, e I don't even know. I was like, what do you do after D? I don't even know what you do because whenever you're a C, you go up to a D. But apparently when you're a D, you have to go up to like a double D or a triple D. I'm like, why doesn't it just go to E? Why is there like doubles? Like, I don't even know what to do here. And, <laughs> and mother maternity doesn't even go up in the store past like a 40 D. So, um, and I was wearing, I was wearing a 36 D. So I got this extender thing, <laughs> and because you can cheat um, your cup size up, I learned this at Victoria's Secrets when I was in college, but they said you can cheat up your cup size by um, getting a bigger size around. So like say that you're a 34C, um, if you get a 30, but then your, you, your cup size gets bigger if you get a, or say that you're a 34D, if you buy a 36C, as long as the coverage is okay, like you can kind of cheat it and make it work. So I got an extender thinking that like, I was like, oh, well, it'll make it like a 38 or whatever um, D and it'll like fix the problem. So I did that and it seemed to work, but now it's like, just like busting out so I think I definitely can't do the cheat method I need to go get a bigger cup size so I don't even know what to do about that and Kyle such a guy he was like <laughs> he was just like I was like complaining about this I was like Kyle they're all up in my bed I can't even stand it and he was like well I was like and I don't know I was like I was I went to mother maternity and they didn't even have a size big enough and he was like um <laughs> He was like, well, can, can you go to one of those those plus-size lady stores, those big lady stores? Do they make bras bigger? And I was just like, what? Really? I'm going to slap you. I was like, really? You think that? <laughs> I was like, there are plenty of skinny women. Not that I'm skinny, I know, but I was like, there are plenty of skinny women out there who have large breasts. <laughs> I guess it was just like before he didn't, I don't know. He meant it really innocently, but it made me laugh. I was like, I didn't even get that mad because I was just like, that's hilarious. He was, he was trying to be all gentle and like helpful. It's like, maybe if you go to one of those big lady stores, <laughs> you can get a bigger bra, a bigger cup size. I was just like, no, honey, I can go to Victoria's Secret and get, you know, a 32 double D if you want and be skinny and like have, you know, I was like, <laughs> that's not how it works, honey. Anyway, um, <laughs> so yeah, that's happening. I don't even know. I don't even know where to go. So 
I think I'm gonna have to order some online. Um, let's see. Okay, so my belly is like bleh, this week. Like I swear, I'm just like it is so rounded out. Like my profile is just like bleh, like so round. Um, I was feeling oh oh and like oh you guys, my hips have gone from like this to like this. I, I don't even understand it. Like they are they have just like. It's like the great divide down there. It's just like, whoosh, there we go. So, so the fat I had on my my waistline, like my love handles, <laughs> like it is, they are just ridiculous. Like now that my hips spread, like the love handles I already had are like even bigger. So I'm just like, I'm like, am I carrying the baby on my hips? Because apparently, I don't know. That's what I feel like. I feel like I feel like I have. <laughs> I feel like my waist is like disappeared, and I'm just like. I, I don't even know how to describe it. I have to use sound effects apparently to describe it. So, <laughs> but I did feel better because I was watching um, Aussie Mom since 07 and she said the same thing. She was like, she was like, I'm just wide, and I, that made me feel better. And then um, I was watching that. Um, oh, I never remember her dang screen name. It's the girl. Um, her name's Lucy, but she's got like the XXX name or whatever. Uh, and she is about the same length along as me, and like she is like popped. So um, I was like, well, and they're, both of those girls are way skinnier than I am. So, um, you know, I was like, well, you know, <laughs> these skinny little girls are like totally popping and losing their waist as well. So I'm not alone, you know. So they made me, it made me feel better like seeing that. I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> but yeah, so that's totally happening. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I had my doctor's appointment on Monday, which was my birthday. And thank you, everybody. I had a billion happy birthday wishes, which was awesome. So I'm at the end of my 20s, you guys, which that's not fun. But it was, uh, I think I'm going out. I'm, I'm, I'm rounding out the 20s uh, with a bang. So that's good. But anyway, um, I had my doctor's appointment then. So I went in and I opted for, I don't even know what they call it, but it's that like first scan or they call it something like that, first screen. It's the, it's the very, it's the like early, they do blood work and they do an ultrasound and it's kind of early detection for um, that trisomy 18 and, or something like that, trisomy 13, I don't know, whatever. Tri I think trisomy 18 is Down syndrome, whatever, trisomy 13, whatever it is and um, Down syndrome and things like that. And they do an ultrasound and they measure like the fluid at the back of the neck and the length of the back of the neck and things like that. And um, so I got to have an extra ultrasound that I was not expecting. So that was really cool. And the ultrasound showed, they haven't got my blood work back yet, um, but the ultrasound showed that everything was perfect. They were like, everything measured exactly as it should. So I got to see the baby again. And um, now it looks like a baby. And my uterus, which if you guys remember I had said was tilted backwards was now all the way forward like the ultrasound tech was like woo it's right there <laughs> she's like it is out <laughs> so um anyway the it was really cool though the baby was totally asleep and it was just like side profile view and it had either its hand was on its face or it's someone's in its mouth we couldn't tell but it was asleep it was just like lying there and she like shook my belly and the baby went nuts it's like it was just like arching its back and kicking and i was just like wow it was really cool um, it's so weird that something was moving that much and I like can't feel it. Like I was like, whoa, <laughs> how can something be that active and you don't feel it? But it's just because, you know, they don't weigh anything. So even though they're pretty dang big at this point, like you don't feel anything. So um, anyway, it was it was so cool though. I was happy to see the baby. All healthy and excited. And I think it's the heart rate was like 167, but they said it'll slow down as it gets bigger. So yeah, so all that was really good. <sighs> oh, um, my placenta is low, but it's nothing that they're worried about. Like, my, um, doctor said that she looked at the ultrasound and she was like, eh. She's like, this, we don't even worry about this in the first trimester because usually it grows, um, up. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about placenta previa or any of that stuff. She's like, we'll worry about that if it's still low, you know, your next ultrasound. She's like, but I don't even worry about it. So that, that's fine. I didn't, you know, nothing, didn't make me worried because she was so, like, relaxed about it. But it was low, so my placenta is a little low, but yeah. And then, oh, someone's calling me. It's Lindsay. Lindsay, I'm going to call you back after I do this vlog. Okay, so, um, Lindsay is Kyle's sister. Um, she's only six months older than me, and she's also, um, she's my best friend. So, yeah, anyway, that's, you guys always hear me talk about her. All right, what else? Oh, I have been craving these, the Capri Sun 
sunrise drinks. It's like their morning drink, and this one's called Berry Tangerine Morning. This is what I want. Sometimes I don't even want to eat, I just want to drink these. You guys, I have not had a Capri Sun in like 10 years, 15 years. I'm not kidding you. I don't drink Capri Suns. I don't go to the store and I'm like, I want to get some juice. So, um, <laughs> but these are delicious. Like, this is all I want. I don't know. So they're on sale at the grocery store, at one of the grocery stores. So I think today I'm going to go stock up because I totally just want to drink these all the time. But Sophie likes them too. So when I drink them, she's like, ooh, 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 more, more, more. And like just constantly saying that. And I'm like, Sophie's funny because she asks for more when she hasn't even had any to begin with. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you haven't had any. So how do you want more of it? <laughs> but that's what she does. And she does that when we have stories too. Like when we're reading her a book and we're finished, she'll be like, more more book and I'm like I need to teach her again <laughs> so she also does this sometimes for help me instead of like saying help me or signing help me she'll be like help you know I don't know it's funny she she abuses that sign and that word <laughs> all right so that's my cravings I think that's it I think that's it I'm gonna show you guys the belly you can see my big old belly um, because I and more chunkster than some of the adorably skinny ladies who were pregnant even with their second kids. Like I obviously already had fat that can just push out and make me look further along than than I am, but so be it. It's just what it is. Um, I still look kind of just chunky in my clothes, but my mom was with me while I was trying on some uh, pregnancy cl maternity clothes, and she said that when I was in my um, when I took off my normal shirt and I was just wearing a cami. She was like, whoa, you can tell you're pregnant in that cami because she said it was just like, you know, thin, bump, then thin again. So she's like, you, you could tell it wasn't fat. Um, so yeah, so I guess maybe in when I'm trying to hide it more, or not hide it, but when I'm wearing clothes that I try to smooth it out a little bit more, it actually, those are what I look fat in. But if I'm wearing clothes that acts like accent it, then I look more pregnant. So maybe I just need to stop worrying about covering it up and just let it be out there. And if somebody's like, oh, you're 20 weeks, I can be like, no, I'm 12 and I'm rocking it. So yeah, I think that's what I need to start doing. But anyway, so as you can see, the belly, it's a growing, the baby's growing and healthy. And apparently the baby is a jumping machine. So and I'm really excited. Um, I have no idea when I get my actual, um, ultrasound to find out the gender. I think it's not going to probably be till February. So I don't know. It's not been set up yet, but I can't wait. I want to know. I want to go in. They, you know, all these places offer those early scans, but you know, they cost like 75 bucks and Kyle's like, oh, that's a waste of money. I don't know. Kyle's stingy sometimes with stuff. He didn't want to pay for that intelligence test, which I totally understand. It's $30, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, He's just, I don't know, anyway, so I don't know if we will. <laughs> if I really want to, he'll totally be like, okay, but I don't know. I mean, he's right. It's like we can pay an extra 75 bucks or just wait another three or four weeks and have it done with our insurance. So, yeah, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so I think that's it. I hope everybody else is doing awesome. I hope your holidays were good. Um, mine were great, so that was awesome. It, was, it went by too fast, though. It was like too whirlwind. I don't know. Everything was crazy. So I didn't like that. But I am excited to be almost in my second trimester. Cause that's amazing. And I will just see everybody next week. All right? And I'll try to do a little belly, first trimester belly transgress, uh, transition thing, growth thing for next week. Because, yeah, I like those. Okay, so bye, guys.